So our next section here is once again uh, based on triangles, and it's the most important principle of triangles, probably the most famous, um, is the Pythagorean theorem. And it says that if you have a right triangle, that it turns out that you can square each of the individual sides around the right triangle. So here's the right angle, the 90 degree angle. If you square each of those and add them up, it always equals the hypotenuse, the third side being squared. So I probably didn't say that super well, but let's show it here. So this is what it's saying. I've got a right triangle and I've got the two sides around it. So if I square the three and I square the four, it always equals the hypotenuse, the one that's missing here being squared. So let me show you. So I'm putting in the 3 squared, 4 squared, and it always equals c squared, that third side. So we just do our order of operations and tidy this up, and we can find the third side has to be 5. So do this again here. I've got 6 squared plus 8 squared has to be equal to that missing hypotenuse. Okay, so just clean this up. Okay, so tidy it up, I get 100 over there equals c squared. Now, how do you solve c squared? Just square root both sides. Just take the square root of both sides. So let me show you. If you... So these are opposites of each other. So if you take the square root of a square, you just have c. So 10 equals c. So that missing side must have been 10. Okay, so we've got 12 squared plus 5 squared is equal to that missing third side squared. So I've got 144 plus 25 equals c squared. Clean this up, I get 169 equals c squared. Now, I'm going to take to get, I don't want c squared, I want c. So I'm going to square root both sides. Well, those now turn into c. The opposite of a square is a square root, so I just get c there. And the square root of 169. 13. All right, so they're going to mix this up a little bit here that now we have the hypotenuse. So we're going to need a little algebra. Here's what they're saying. I know 5 squared. I don't have the second, but I do have the hypotenuse this time. So just a little bit of algebra. So I clean this up. Now I'm going to get b squared alone. Okay, so we can't do our square root trick until the problem part of the equation is isolated by himself. So this will be true for all of algebra. We're always going to get the difficult thing by himself. So I'm going to subtract 25 to the other side. That's what they're doing, even though they didn't show it. Okay, now I have it isolated. B squared is now alone. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. They really should be doing this. Square root of both sides, and I get B is 12. Okay, so same thing here. I've got 15 squared plus b squared must equal 17 squared. So let's clean that up. I think 15 squared is, yeah, 225 plus b squared. 17 squared is 289. Okay, now I know we're not used to working with b squared, but it's the same idea. We're going to isolate him as if he was I don't know. We're going to get that problem part all alone. So this turns out to be 64. Now to solve this, we square root both sides, and b must be 8. Okay, so let's go again here. I've got a. I don't know b, but I know the hypotenuse. This is 81. Okay, I'm going to get the b squared all by himself. I wasn't sure. Okay, so B is 12. Okay, now I remember I left this picture off here. So here's what we're saying. This is not a very good picture. I didn't cut and paste this when I took it out of the book. Um, okay, so he's going to put a 10-foot piece of wood diagonally here is what it's saying. And that's all they tell us. So we don't know this side or this side. But what they do tell us is that these are going to be the same length. 
So we can only handle one I don't know, but look at what they did. If you make this, well, I don't know, but this one's the same length, it's the same I don't know. So look what would happen then. I have x squared plus another x squared equals 10 squared. Well, I can do this. Now, I don't, I don't know if we've seen this before. x squared, I have two x squareds. Can you see that when I combine like terms? It's the same principle as like x plus x is 2x. Well, I have x squareds now. And so it's not going to become x to the fourth. That's the name of the team. It's the x squared team. So I have two of them. Now, to get x squared alone, we're going to follow the same principles. I want to isolate that difficult part. If this was 2x equals 100, I would just divide both sides by 2. Well, I'm going to do the same thing, even though it's x squared. So divided both sides by 2 got me this. And now we know what to do here. We square root both sides. Now, this one doesn't turn out to be a nice pretty number. You get a, It's about 7.1. So each of these sides must be 7.1. Okay, I keep forgetting to draw, give you the picture, but so I'll make my own. This is what they're saying. Yeah, so I'm assuming it doesn't show up, but so I'm assuming that it was equal sides for the x's again. So the two sides we don't know are the same distance. So I've got x squared plus squaring the other side must equal 13 squared. Now this is two of the same thing. I have two x squareds, and that's 169. All right, I think this is it, because I'm not sure this is going to work out right. I don't know. Oh, hold on. They do tell us. Hold on. Strike all this here. Let's go back. I thought they were doing the same thing, but this is not the same thing. So they're telling us that the ladder is five feet from the wall of the house. So yeah, I don't know. So we don't only have one missing side. I thought we'd do the same thing again, but we don't. So the house and the ground are going to make that right angle. So I've got 5 squared plus the x squared I don't know equals 13 squared. Okay, so that's 25. So I'm getting the x squared by himself. Okay, now square root both sides, and I get x is 12. So the height up this wall must have been 12. Okay, yeah, I don't understand why we did that hard one with... But what they're saying is I've got a 17-foot string of lights, and it's going to reach up a 15-foot pole. Now they're saying, how far are we from the, from the pole? So I don't know this guy. And when you do the ground and the pole, they're going to make a 90 degree angle. So I've got, I don't know that one, but I know 15 squared equals 17 squared from the Pythagorean theorem. I just did 17 squared. I don't remember. 289. Okay, now we're going to isolate the x squared. square root both sides. I get x is 8. So this must have been 8 feet away. Oh, that's it. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. We're just doing different versions of the Pythagorean theorem. Um, again, there was that weird one where both of the sides were the same length, but we didn't really see that again. So anyway, hope that makes sense. When you have the x squared, you're just isolating that x squared. Just as if it was an X, you're just trying to get him alone, you're going to follow all the same rules.